Hello everyone. Today we are talking about intrusion detection systems. First, let's start with the definition of intrusion. An intrusion is a type of threat action whereby an unauthorized entity gains access to sensitive data by circumventing a system's security protections. There are basically four ways to do that. Trespassing, meaning unauthorized access to sensitive data or areas. Penetration, meaning entry and access to sensitive data, reverse engineering of programs to get access, and cryptoanalysis, which means to decrypt encrypted ciphertext. An intrusion detection system can now be defined as hardware or software products that gather and analyze information from various areas within a computer or a network to identify possible security breaches which include both intrusions, attacks from outside the organizations and misuse, attacks from within the organization. Collection and analysis of data can happen on a network as a whole or on a single host, but more on that later. IDS use sensors to collect data and analysis modules to analyze them. There are two ways to analyze collected data to detect malicious content. First, analysis tools look for patterns such as heuristics and signatures, for example, of known malware. Second, analysis tools can detect anomalies compared to the expected and legitimate behavior of, for example, certain software, but more on that in a bit. An IDS works in three steps, collection, analysis and reaction. To put it simply, it monitors data, evaluates it, and then acts accordingly. Let's look at each of the steps in a little bit more detail. Data collection can happen via monitoring of log files from the operating systems or alerts from certain applications, such as buffer overflows. Next, unexpected behavior of processes can be monitored, for example, by monitoring system calls or registry access. Finally, the whole network is monitored and sensors are placed on various points on the firewall. If you want to know more about firewalls, you can click the link on the top right corner of the video. More about sensors in a little bit. The next step after collection of data is to analyze it. As said before, the signatures of collected data is compared to signatures of known attacks. Obviously, it is not possible to detect unknown attacks here. Second, integrity of data is checked if hash values of certain important system files don't match with the ones taken before the installation of a certain software, then it shows that something is wrong. Finally, anomaly detection is done via statistical methods and heuristics to monitor system and network parameters to evaluate anomalies. This is not an accurate process, so there is a possibility of false positives and false negatives. Depending on how critical your application is, the threshold for abnormal behavior will be higher or lower, respectively. Finally, reaction, if the IDS detects abnormal behavior or indeed finds a signature of a known malware, an alert will be triggered and the user or sysadmin will be prompted for action, usually the deletion of the malicious file. An IDS can be present at two locations. It can either be host-based, meaning it is installed on a single PC, this allows the IDS to determine which processes and user accounts are involved in a particular attack and the operating system. Also, host-based IDS can more readily determine the intended outcomes of the attack because they are closer to the targeted data and processes. Usually, a host-based IDS is part of a host-based or personal firewall. The second location is called network-based IDS. An NIDS monitors traffic from a position within the network. The sensors can be at different locations, for example, as you can see here. This sensor is located on the LAN and can detect direct attacks on the servers or PCs of the internal network and will detect if a PC is infected with malware. The second sensor is located as component of the outgoing screening router, which monitors outgoing and incoming traffic. The third sensor detects the total unfiltered traffic coming from the Internet. In practice, host-based and network-based IDS are combined into a hybrid IDS. Additionally, 2D IDS, an intrusion prevention system, works by also taking some action if anomalies or malware are detected and can therefore stop incidents from happening. An IDS is part of a Security Information and Event Management System, SIEM, which I will talk about in more detail in another video. But for now, I conclude today's video. Thanks for watching. Tell me in the comments which topics you would like me to cover. Like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.